defense against despair. Uh, it, it feels like the church is falling apart. Every time you turn on the news, there's another scandal. Every time you open up uh, your, your browser, your, your TikTok, your, your Instagram, it is full of bad news. And so we are taught to pray, thy kingdom come. And the devil would actually try and turn this into yet more despair, that it is somehow our job to advance the church in the world and, and fulfill a great commission or else people will be lost. It is um, our, our hope ultimately that, that God's kingdom is not of this world. And so the best thing that we can hope for is to die and go to heaven. And as a defense against despair, God would teach us to pray thy kingdom come, recognizing that God's kingdom certainly comes by itself, even without our prayer. If you never once pray, the kingdom of God will be established. But we pray in this petition that it would also come to us. But God's kingdom does not come where Christians march and fulfill by their works. A great commission is not simply relegated to the resurrection of the body and the life to come. It is, well, God's kingdom comes when our heavenly father gives us his Holy Spirit so that by his grace, we believe his holy word and lead godly lives here in time and there in eternity. So let's start here. Are you baptized? Do you believe that Christ is risen from the grave? God's kingdom is at hand, like so close you can reach out and grab it because you've received the Holy Spirit. He brings you Jesus. He brings you forgiveness of sins. He even brings you the kingdom that is yet to come. But that kingdom has been established on earth. It's not about agendas. It's not about the size of the church. It's not even about its its behavior. Although, Lord, have mercy upon us sinners. This would actually be better if we sinned less. It is established on God sending forth his Holy Spirit to the people who don't deserve it, who do not fulfill his will or his word, who do not lead godly lives. So he sends forth the Holy Spirit, who is God, and makes them godly, not by being more like God, but by receiving God. You receive the Holy Spirit. You receive the forgiveness of sins. You receive the kingdom of God. You are made a citizen of the kingdom that has yet been established on earth today and cannot be taken away. So when everything feels like it's fallen apart and it organized, Organized religion feels like a, a sham you get to recognize. Is God's word being taught in its truth and purity? Are you baptized? Then th there's less to worry about right now than uh, the news would have you think.